Okay, so today we're going to try and turn all of this scrap lumber and some of this scrap metal over here into some new uh, feed troughs. So the way this will work is I'm going to make a little pipe uh, legs that has two bars that go across it. And it's kind of hard to describe without a picture. I don't have a picture handy. But that, I'll make just a wooden box out of this lumber with a uh, sheet metal bottom. And then that little the square piece, you'll see here in a minute, um, on the, the metal legs will slide over and then it tilts. And that's what locks it into place, one on each side. That'll be my legs. So it's real easy to move around is the idea. And this is what uh, that guy that I bought those, uh, the 26 new cows from. Uh, he had some set up like this, and so I liked it. I happen to have the material here to make at least a couple of them, probably. And so uh, we're going to try it out and see how that works, and then we'll, we'll go feed cows in them and see if they just destroy them or, <laughs> or see how long they last. So uh, I'm trying to set you up for a time lapse here. So hang on a second. Be right back. All right, so I'm always out of frame here. Um, this is Shovel Cam 2.0. I used duct tape this time instead of electrical tape. So it seems to work a little bit better, but still got the angle wrong. So I tried to use the Dewalt circular saw to cut those two by fours, or two by sixes in this case. And it's got the blade on it that uh, I wrecked making the mineral trough, because uh, I'm, I'm gonna wreck it again, cutting still here in a second and it just wouldn't do it. So I ended up using my Milwaukee uh, Porta Band that I also borrowed from my day job. So you can see that even though it won't cut wood, it still does a pretty good job cutting metal. It's not really cutting, it's just kind of tearing through it. Uh, there's no teeth left on it. Uh, right here I decided I wanted to put a center support in just to brace the middle where that seam is on the two pieces of sheet metal. So I knocked that out and then the rib on that side was sticking out a little too far. Well, there you have it. That's all there is to it. So, real down and dirty. Nothing accurate about it at all. 2x4s on the end, 2x6s on the sides. Reason for that is I didn't have enough 2x6 to make a full box. So I'm going to make another one out of just 2x4s because I don't have any more 2x6s. But that's it. So then what will happen is I'm going to make kind of a H shape. So a piece of pipe that will be a leg on this side and on the other side and a piece of rod that goes across here and a piece of rod that goes across underneath of it with a little bit more space than this whole thing is tall. And then that will kind of pivot and you can kind of see how that will kind of lock itself in. One leg on each side. And it doesn't matter if they're both this way or if they're both to the inside or both to the outside. It, it'll still stand either way. And should be, should be good and sturdy. Um, not sure how long it'll last. I said it's just made out of this scrap lumber and scrap metal so I'm not too worried about it even if it doesn't last very long you know I can build up some better metal ones someday that'll fit in there they'll be a little bit heavier but um, yeah it should uh, should work pretty good I think so I'm gonna build up one more I think I can make one more the same size with the, uh, the stuff that I have on hand um, a little Dewalt saw here that, again that's just that same wood cutting blade that I ruined making my mineral trough. Uh, I kept the blade in case I needed to cut more metal and it turns out I did. So I just put that back on there. I tried to cut two by four with it earlier and uh, or two by six rather it didn't work. So I borrowed Porta Band for cutting the rod and stuff uh, from my day job as well. Um, and it did really good on cutting the wood. So uh, that's what we're using using a metal saw to cut wood and uh, the wood saw to cut metal kind of ironic but all right i'm gonna get this other one banged out and then we'll uh um we'll go work on the the legs okay here's something weird perfectly bored holes two of them next to each other 
in this 2x4. These things have to squish them because they were still alive. They were moving around. Look inside there. Can you see it? There's another one in there. Let's see if I can dump it out. What is it? No, I'm looking at it. I think it's a, is that a bee? I think it's a bee of some sort. That one's dead. Really strange. There's no. Well, try to take that back. So look at this. Four holes. Now that I'm looking in there, I mean, this whole board is a beehive, I think. Or it was. Huh. That's weird. Well, I guess now we know what's happening to all the bees. Rednecks recycling their home into feed troughs and killing them all. <laughs> really weird. It, I wouldn't have even noticed that on this board. But sure enough, these these boreholes here in the side, in the end, they go down in there. Now, this one up here, I can actually see there's some other stuff in there. So, I'm not going to use this board just because I think it's mostly hollow. I'll find another one. Weird. Okay, here's the second one made. It's upside down. All these little pieces are because, as usual, Walt tool failed me. The battery died. It didn't make it all the way through. So I had to finish it and just take little chunks and then cut it off with the uh, porta van. Milwaukee bailed me out. Typical. Um, little Bosch drill. I'm impressed with it. Four amp hour batteries on it. One battery though did all those screws. And that battery has not been charged in months and it rides around in the back of my truck and it is December. So, you know, it's cold and it's hard on batteries. Yep, it just keeps going. So that changed tires on the trailer. Built two troughs. Battery's still just as strong as it, as it should be. Dewalt M18, or 18 volt series, the XRPs, on the other hand, you make one cut and it's, the battery's dead. And it, granted, this is metal. It's not what that saw is designed for. But I can tell you from experience, it's the exact same way if you're cutting two by fours or something like that. Make two or three cuts, change the battery. Two or three cuts, change the battery. Garbage. And they're brand new batteries. We just bought them, well, they're almost a year old now. But new batteries are not the original ones. They're, you know, we have some that are five or six years old and they don't work hardly at all. We wouldn't expect them to, though. Anyway, I'll stop griping about that. Got it done. So, I'm going to throw these in the back of the truck. We'll run over and start making the legs. I'm not sure where that time lapse stopped, but here's what we got. So, see the way that works. Rod across the top, one across the bottom here, and then it just kind of lays there like that. Uh, I tried to put it together one time with it just tacked up and it fell apart. <laughs> so, anyway, I had to weld it out full. That's the idea though, gets it up high enough off the ground that uh, they won't be able to step in it. Now the stuff that's this tall, they, they usually won't try to step in it even. Now the only thing I'm worried about is if, if they're running into it and pushing on it real hard trying to fight each other to get in here. There's not a whole lot of weld material right here, you know, not a whole lot of bead on it. So I may come back and add a, a little bit more just to, to beef that up a little bit, but they could break those and then it would fall down and then they would step on it and destroy it. So. Um, maybe I'll kind of stand on it or something here in a second and see how sturdy it is. If I can't stand on it, then there's no point in even putting it out there, I guess. Uh, well, alright, so that's the first one done. Uh, this one will have to be a little bit different just because it's, uh, but it's two by sixes, so it'll be a little bit bigger pocket in there. And I did about an inch bigger gap on, in between these two rods than the height of this, um, including the depth of this rib. So it worked out to be right at about six inches. I was about five inches tall overall. So um, that one I'll just do, you know, an inch taller than whatever that works out to be. 
I'll just measure that. So, okay. Well, we'll get this next one knocked out, and then I'll show them to you. Well, I'm pretty satisfied that these are going to be okay. legs keep wanting to slide so it's a little bit less stable when you're walking around on it good news is though they're not intended to be walked around on so all right that's done so it's getting late um i've got some h uh posts some like some fence stretchers that i need to make uh i kind of hoped i could get that done today but i'm not going to be able to the sun uh, where is it sure bright uh, it's just washing everything out. About to go down. Uh, so I need to get these out there and get the girls fed. Get them some protein. So um, we're going to go do that. So what I'll do here is I'll just toss these over the fence, I think. And then I'll be able to come just through the pasture. That's better. From over by the camper and just drive the four-wheeler in here. And I'll just kind of throw these on the four-wheeler, however they fit. Then I have to be real stable, and then we're gonna put them off over here somewhere. What's in this? Wherever the hay barn is, I can't find it. There it is, right there, somewhere over there. So I'm gonna get that done, and we'll get all all this picked up. So be back to you here in a minute. Well, so far so good. I'll try and get a look at 115 over here, this crazy one. She was off by herself. Which is, she's usually real quick to come up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Something's going on here, so she's got blood all over her. Uh, she may have a calf on the ground. That one right there. Sure enough. I thought that was, yeah, brand new one. That was a little black one. See him? Yeah. Cool. Brand new. So she had him while I was building these these troughs. That's pretty neat. Look at that. So I saw him. I thought that was a, the other black calf. He's right there. Keep my distance. You see how she's real aggressive coming straight up to me kind of tucking her head and like that so all the other ones if, if they act like that i don't worry about them too much but this one though she acts like she wants to fight and i believe her so okay we'll get a closer look at him in a minute if we can so this video is intended to be about these troughs so they did a pretty good job cleaning them up only one little pellet there, or cube rather, that got kind of stuck. And one over there, so not too bad. I was worried about it, having a whole pile of them underneath there where they couldn't get to them. Look at that. Look over here and look at this other one. These two calves are looking great. Okay, number seven. Be cool. Be cool. Mm -hmm. Leaning on her pretty hard there. But, uh, held up to the first feeding, so. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this video here and immediately start another one about that little cat. 
See you guys next time.